the video. Oh. <laughs> and there it goes. She you had to go there, Ellie. That's disgusting. It's disgusting. They don't care. Oh, she's growling at it, <laughs> grunting. Huh? Look at this. This is true love right there. Huh? Let's see. Yes, I am rooting for the Ravens Sunday. Let's go, Panthers! Let's go, Panthers! Let's go, Panthers! Let's go! Panther fans, so got the Bruins tonight in a very possible playoff preview, and uh, it's going to be a good night. It's a low key night, as you all know. Uh, this is our first first game back after Ellie passed, and it, it's going to be it's going to be tough. It might be a little bit low key. To give you an example, what you do not see is on that table is my pack and ship. And what I'm standing on right now is the blanket that Ellie would lay on in this room because ever since she was a puppy, regardless of wherever we lived, she would come up to me while I was packing and shipping and give me kisses and then go off and play. And then, of course, in her older days, she would lay right here on this blanket. Now, um, before I get too much into the, into the hockey end of it, um, at the very end of this video, after the hockey, after everything, I'm going to have a way, a request, a way that you can help um, ensure the continuation of this channel. It's not financial; it's something quick and easy. But it would be a big, it would be a big help to me. Um, it involves Fluffy. I'll let you guys know what that is at the end of the video, so we can just have a clean hockey recap. So, um, Bubba, Bubba, Bubba. Bubba had on. <laughs> I almost thought for a minute they were going to start Stolars because he's the one to stop the losing streak. But all indications that we've got Bubba. Barkov is back in. Ekblad is not in yet, and the lines have been they've been re remixed and remastered and everything. I have not seen the last three games. Did I miss three games? I think that's it. So new new team, new season for me right here. We've got eleven games. And then we've got the playoffs, so that gives Kyle and I time to kind of get into our groove again. Um, from what I hear against the Flyers, we looked a lot more like ourselves. I was very pleased to see that we could take it to that team on the road because you just never know if there's an opportunity that we may actually end up playing them at some point further on down the road. Now, there are a couple of scenarios where Panthers and Bruins could clinch a playoff spot tonight. I'm going to be honest with you, okay? I want the two points, but more than anything, I just just stay healthy. Just absolutely stay healthy. We don't need any stupid injuries because guys are, you know, I know it's going to be a physical game. I know we want to be into that playoff groove. I understand that. Um, but just get in, get out, get our two points, and uh, we got homemade brownies. All right, so 2-1 Panthers after one. Nice, nice uh, period of play. Both teams, actually. Panthers came out and looked like they were setting to light the world on fire. We scored, what, 27, 27 seconds in? I didn't even get my ass in the seat because I was putzing with Fluffy, trying to get him settled down. And boom, Kyle yells, we scored already. And then we almost blew it there towards the end of the first period. Boston had the better of play there for about five or six minutes stretch. McAvoy had time to set up. I kind of would have liked to see Bubba maybe come out a little bit further and cut down the angle. He got beat. It's 1-1. And then 20 seconds later, whatever it is, uh, Luster Reinen, um, Reinen and Reinhardt combined for a goal. It was 
it's still tough to tell when Luce Ryan was passing it um, exactly how it ended up being, if he was trying to take a shot or if Reinhardt actually deflected it in. I know Reinhardt got credit for the goal, but when I watched it, it almost kind of looked like it never made it to Reinhardt or he had his stick in there. Swayman might have been compare, uh, complaining about uh, goalie interference, but they didn't look at it. So it's 2-1 to one after 1. We look good, not great, but that's playoff hockey. All right, so we are tied at two after two. Not surprised at all. Can't be surprised, not even a little bit, that this game is tight. There's fights. Very, very, very chippy. And the only complaint I have is we did the thing that we do, and I was complaining about it, hoping that the bitching would work, but it didn't. And that is you're sitting there, and it's two to one, and it's two to one, and it's two to one. And you're getting chances, chance, chance. Not put it in the back of the net, and eventually... It's 2-2. Two, two. And we just leave, uh, what's his name? Pasta sauce. We leave him all alone right in front of the net. Now, I look like it was Mikola to me. Nerful on the stream was saying something about Polinskis. I don't know because my brain's only about one-tenth of the way into the game. And the rest of it is still on the missing dog that should be sitting in front of me during the stream. But she's not. Now, um... And then uh, right before the end of the period, again, like a minute left, we left pasta sauce. I like that. We, we left spaghetti in front of the net again by himself. So I don't know what's going on there, but, I mean, he, he, we should be covering this guy. That said, it's 2-2. Two, two. I, I, I just want health. You want to give me a point? You want to give me two points? That's fine. But guys are just like running into each other like freight trains. It's ridiculous. I just don't want anybody getting hurt. It's not worth it. Give me two points. So, I have a decision to make in this moment, and that is, I know that I've had just about the worst week of my life, so... I'm irritable, crabby, cranky, and a tremendous amount of pain, and kind of overdid it with Fluffy at the river and the beach the last few days, and now he's kind of gimping around, but he'll be all right. So I know that I might overreact to what I just witnessed on the ice, and on the other hand, for the last two, three months, I've been saying, hey, don't worry about it. They'll be fine. They're going to make the playoffs. They'll play playoff hockey then. Okay. But it would one nothing, and then they tied it. And it was 2-1, and then they tied it. And it was 3-2, and then they tied it. And then they beat us. And I know that the puck went off the dude's skate. I know that Kulikov thought he had his man. Not quite sure what Bob was doing there. I mean, I know he was playing the shot. Then he just kind of like watched the pass go. By him, didn't move. It was kind of weird. I don't think he would have been able to make the save anyway. But it was just odd the way he didn't he didn't like slide over with the puck. But I'm not a goalie, so I don't know. Um, what I do know, I what I can tell you is what I see on the ice, and we know, I know, you know, we all know that the ice cream man knows that this team has another gear past the one that we saw here today. Now, if you strip away the pomp and circumstance from this, if you strip away the fights and the chippiness and just looked at what went out on the ice, we deserve to lose that game. We deserve to lose that game because we left Bruins players alone in front of the net far too many times. Swayman made multiples of more of difficult saves. I know that's not English, but I don't care. Swayman made many more difficult saves than Bubba had to make. I don't I think maybe one time tonight I was like, hey Bubba, all right. And then the rest of the time it was it, the saves wasn't weren't all that difficult except for the ones where he didn't make save. Um not blaming Bob, but if that team that we saw tonight, as chippy as they were, 
if they show up against anybody but maybe the Capitals in the first round of the playoffs, we're going to get walked out of the first round of the playoffs. Might not even take six games because that team that was on the ice, um, they did not give enough of a shit and they didn't give enough of a shit for long enough of a time. All right? I know, again, maybe they turn it on, or I should back that up. I expect that they will turn it on for the playoffs. Okay? We know, and I know, that they've got a different level. And tonight, we saw them at about maybe 85 to 90%. I don't even know 90%. That might be a bit much. We need Ekblad back. Okay, now, um, it kind of looked like it was Mikula that left his man open, but I guess they said uh, that actually wasn't his man. It was Belinskis, and Belinskis was somewhere in the stands eating the hot dogs. So that I knew I wanted a veteran defenseman that had played in this league before, but Zito felt it more important to go get Tarasenko so we could screw up the chemistry of the top nine. I didn't say that. I I'm not saying anything about what our record was before and after. I'm not saying anything about any of that, right? So, um, Boston gets the win. They got first place. It doesn't really bother me all that much in the sense of first place, second place. Would it be better to play the possibility of the Capitals over the Leafs? Yeah, probably. Would I rather play the Leafs? instead of the Lightning? I mean, I'm not sitting there saying I want Toronto, but do I want to roll the dice that the Panthers, who have a tendency to go into scoring slumps, might meet the brick wall of Asilevsky? I don't really know I'm interested in that. But it won't matter if we don't play smarter and more mentally engaged than we did tonight. And I understand, again, you know, we're missing... Ekblad's the only one that we're missing at this point, okay? Um, the lines, it's not that they look anything wrong with the lines. It just, we had won a tremendous number of games with the way that we had it laid out. And while Tarasenko might look a little bit better than Rodriguez in certain spots, and while some people are liking Lorenz a little bit better than Lomberg because the side... While there are some individual performances that look better than the individual performances that were being given before the changes, collectively, as a whole, the chemistry is kind of fucked up. Okay? We, we've lost most of the games since we made the changes. Now maybe they get it all together and Maurice finds that magic formula and Barkov stays healthy and everybody, and it all and it all works, and that's fine. We've seen some good individual moments. What we have not seen is five guys, shift after shift after shift, everybody working in unison as one. That we have not seen since we made the deals. That's all I'm going to say about that. It might be a total coincidence, and the first period of the first playoff game we all go, ah, there's the Panther team we know and love. But for right now, I didn't see the Flyers game because I was obviously dealing with stuff with Ellie. So I don't know how we looked then, but this looked more like the old playoff Panthers, the team that belonged in the playoffs, but in the end they were going to find a way to lose. And that's what we did tonight is we found a way to lose. And that's unfortunate. It's frustrating. And it might cost us some sort of playoff seating at some point. But they're going to have to get back to their style of play. They didn't look bad tonight. They didn't look bad. But that was not the expected, anticipated effort. And it's certainly not the effort that we were giving when we were on that ridiculous roll last month and the month before that. So that's it. That's it. Um... I will be live tomorrow at noon. We'll do a review of the game and we'll chat and everything like I've normally been doing. Now, I said at the beginning of the video that I would have a request here at the back end of the video 
for something that you can do to help ensure that I can continue to do this channel under the circumstances that I find myself in. And so I'm just going to be honest with you all in that Fluffy's having a hard time with Ellie's passing. He's never been um, an only dog. He's never been alone. So he's having a lot of anxiety. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen a dog cry, a dog will cry. And as long as I'm with him and giving him attention constantly, he's okay. Um, we've been to the beach, we've been to the river a bunch of times, too many times, to the point now where he's, he's too sore. Um, I have to monitor that because he will allow himself to do way more than he really should and then crash afterwards. The point to all of that is that my priority has always been from day one, from the time that I set out to be self-employed at home, was to have time for my kids and time for my dogs. I am willing to take whatever financial sacrifice comes with that. So I'm not quitting this channel. That's nothing that is on my mind to do. But I do need to make money whenever possible. And so I have, before Ellie passed, I changed the uh, fishing channel. I changed it to found tackle fishing and outdoors. And I had already decided at that point that I was going to begin to move the dog content to that channel. Because what happens if I put the dog content on this channel is that people find it, they subscribe, and then when they figure out I'm a hockey channel, they unsubscribe. But with the outdoor channel, they're subscribing to an outdoor channel. I'm doing stuff outside, outdoors with the dogs and now just the dog. The point being is that if the dog is going to force me to be at the river for two or more hours at a time because he doesn't want to come home. And when I, it's not about not being trained or anything. He doesn't want to come home because home is empty now. He, he, he wants to be with me the whole time, and I'm having trouble, real trouble, getting him to come back to the van, because, or even when we're outside walking around, he doesn't want to come inside. So, I'm dealing with that, and I don't know how long I'm going to be dealing with that. So, my idea here, um, and I've had this idea before, if I could get the fishing and outdoors channel monetized, I can record video while I'm out there with Fluffy. I can spend the time to do the podcast while I'm out there with Fluffy and kind of um, multitask while at the same time some possible way of making money and getting my work done, but not I don't want to I don't want to be stressed when I'm out there on the second hour. I don't want to get aggravated with him so come on, I got to go home, I got to work, I got to work. I have to find a way to work involving the dog because he's going to be 11 on june 1st and as far as st bernard's go he's already passed his expiration date so the favor i i have to ask of you is very simple the link is in the description just subscribe to the channel i have multiple channels but the fishing one is the one that i'm really going to need to start working on because i'll be i'm going to take him to the river fishing with me and he'll just be there walking and standing in the water while I'm fishing. Um, so if I can get that channel monetized, that will go a long way to helping this channel stay viable. Because right now, with the, with the time investment that he needs and he's going to take, it's going to be very difficult on me to continue to put out the level of hockey content that I've been unless I know somehow, some way, I gotta at least know the bills are being paid. Um, and, you know, it's all gonna be in, in, in transition and in flux, and, and maybe he'll settle down, but I don't know. This is not a situation where when, when Sonia died, he was, he was okay. We were sad and everything, but he had Ellie and he was okay. Um, you know, he used to get a lot of attention from Ellie. She'd go up and they, they'd do kisses and they'd do the little rolls and the plays. And and now that's all on me. His whole, every, he, I mean, he loves Kyla, loves Karen, but he's like this. He wants me. 
So I have to be able and I have to be able to do that. So it would be a huge help if you're watching this video. I don't care if you're never going to watch a video over there. If you could share that channel. If you know people that are part of Facebook groups with fishing groups or dog groups or whatever it is, if you could help me out and share that channel and explain the situation, be like, hey, I help 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 me out, get that channel monetized. It's called Found Tackle Fishing and Outdoors. And that's it. That that's it. I, I know people want to, you know, people have asked me how they can help. That's a way you can help without it being money out of your pocket. So I pre I appreciate any help that way. All right, Panther. I don't worry about it. Panthers will be all right. We'll be all right. They gotta play better than this though. Uh.